isang mapayapang hapon Pilipinas. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha, na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa DZRH at nanonood sa RHTV. Lalo na sa mga kasamahan nating alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. Bago ang lahat, nais naming anyayahan ang lahat na manood sa pinakabagong handog ng Ballet Manila sa pagpapatuloy ng aming 22nd performance season, Flights of Fantasy. Kung nagustuhan ninyo ang aming original production ng Cinderella nung isang taon, naku, siguradong maliligayahan din ang buong pamilya sa world premiere ng isa pang ninyong paboritong fairy tales, ang Snow White. Magbubukas po ito sa darating na November 25, alas 6 ng gabi, sa Aliu Theater. Other performances are scheduled at 6 p.m. on Dece December 2 and at 3 p.m. on November 26 and December 3. Apat na performances lamang yan, kaya bumili na agad ng tickets sa www.ticketworld.gom.ph o tumawag sa 891-9999. Nine. Samantala, sa hapong ito, bibigyan daan natin ang boses ng mga kabataang pinalad na magkaroon ng katuparan ang mga pangarap sa larangan ng musika sa pamamagitan ng pinakamalaking music scholarship sa Pilipinas sa kasalukuyan. Kaya huwag kayong aalis, kalahating oras ng masayang kwentuhan ang naghihintay sa lahat kasama ang mga kinatawan ng Classical Music Foundation. Ang Classical Music Foundation ay itinatag noong 2007 ng tanyag na negosyante at pilantropong si Dr. George Yang bilang isang scholarship fund na tumutulong sa mga kabataang may taglay na talento sa pag-awit subalit walang kakayahang tustusan ang formal na pag-aaral ng musika bilang pinakamalaking music scholarship program sa ating bansa na tulungan na ng KMF ang halos isang daang kabataan na maabot ang kanilang mga pangarap na makapagsanay sa ilalim ng pinakamahuhusay na voice teachers mula sa mga pangunahing music conservatories sa ating bansa tulad ng UP College of Music Music, UST Conservatory of Music, St. Scholastica's College, at iba pa. Bukod kay Dr. Yang, ang board members ng Classical Music Foundation ay binubuo din nila Dr. Raul Sunico, Mrs. Lily Monteverde, Miss Rachel Herodias Park, Maestro Gerard Salonga, at Dr. Raul Navarro. Isang mainit na pagbati ang hatid ng art to art sa mga kinatawan ng Classical Music Foundation. Kasama po natin ang Artistic Director ng Classical Music Foundation, internationally acclaimed Filipino baritone, Andrew Fernando. Andrew, welcome back to art to art Salamat, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, kailan ka nga nag-guest sa amin? 2011. That was to promote, uh, I think, La Traviata, if I'm not La mistaken. La Traviata, because nung time na yon, uh -huh. merong uh, tatlong opera uh -huh. na ipapalabas sa CCP. Uh -huh. At kasali ako sa bawat opera niyon. Yes. Kaya narito ako nung para ipromote. Lagari King. Lagari yan. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. And hanggang ngayon, Lagari ka pa rin. <laughs> Salamat sa Diyos. <laughs> <laughs> Salamat nga sa Diyos, may trabaho, no? Okay. Um, so, Andrew, of course, I know na you give uh, uh, lessons in singing mm. and uh, you also are very active as a music director abroad. Di ba, palabas-pasok ka ng bansa? Yes, actually, uh -oh. sa kasalukuyan, I am a, a stage director for a company in California. Mm -hmm. no? I stage musical theater productions there mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. So, and then I also do concerts in the States. Mm -hmm. And once in a while, I still do operas outside California. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. so aside from the singing, the teaching, and the directing, yes. you are also the... President of Classical Music Foundation? No, ako yung uh, artistic ako yung director. director. Okay, artistic director uh -huh. ng Classical uh -huh. Music Foundation. Na nagkaroon last October 12 ng napakagandang concert, kasi nandun ako, nanood yes. ako, um, One with the Stars. And uh, in fact, nag-guest ang Ballet Manila doon. Uh -huh. uh, some of our dancers uh, uh, nagsayaw and mm, nag-choreograph no, uh -huh. for the singers there. Yes. So tell us about One with the Stars. Ang One with the Stars, ang konsepto nung aming um, show, 
kasi gusto namin i-present ang ating mga batang classical singers mm -hmm. eh, sa parang ibang pananaw naman. Mm -hmm. Kasi ang bukod sa mahirap mag-promote uh, ng opera sa ating bansa dahil hindi naman kadalasa merong opera, mm -hmm. ang ating mga mga awit na sa generation na ito, nagkakaroon ng hard time to penetrate the industry. Mm -hmm. no? So mm -hmm. we, we always have the same audience, we mm -hmm. have the same sponsors uh, producing the shows. Mm -hmm. So naisip ko, dahil may tema ang bawat show ng, ng KMF sa nung past years, this year, parang gusto kong popular music mm -hmm. interpreted the classical way. No? Mm -hmm. Though ang concept ng crossover ay hindi bago, mm -hmm. yung pagkaareglo ng musika mm -hmm. at kung paano siya, kung paano namin arali ng isang opera role mm -hmm. or isang art song, mm -hmm. ganun din ang ginamit namin sa pag-aaral ng mga popular music. Mm -hmm. Binibigyan namin ng parang deeper meaning. No? Ah. So, So, ayaw ko makompromise unang-una ang teknik ng mga bata sa kanilang mm -hmm. pagkanta. Kasi iba ang teknik ng pop, ng pagkanta ng pop Oo, sa, pa, pagkanta sa pagkanta ng, ng classical, classical and opera. No? Oo, okay. And so, talagang hinugot namin yung mga kantang relevant sa panahon ngayon, katulad mm -hmm. ng Despacito, kung mm -hmm. saan si Elmo Dictado ang nag-choreograph. Mm -hmm. And so, para maging relevant, mm -hmm. my goal for that concert is of course to keep having our old-timers back mm -hmm. in, the, in the audience, mm -hmm. but also to develop a new audience. Mm -hmm. Kasi mga kabataan ngayon, kailangan mm -hmm. nila ng exposure to mm -hmm. this kind of art. Yes, yung yes. yung uh -oh. tinatawag nating legitimate art. Although, legitimate uh -oh. naman lahat, pero itong tinatawag na legitimate classical art uh -oh. nga sa ating bansa. Uh -oh. Hindi, iba naman talaga pag classical. Sorry, medyo biased din Bias ako <laughs> kasi classical ballerina <laughs> din na may classical ballet company. Yes. Pero iba talaga yung classical. Napansin ko, kahit dun sa concert uh -oh. na yon na after singing yung talagang yung Carmina Burana yes. at yung mga talagang very very classical like polyvets and dances yes yeah. polyvets and dances mm -hmm. um, and then pwedeng pwede silang kumanta nung Despacito at nung mga uh, iba uh, yung mga Broadway well, at uh, exactly. musicals mm -hmm. na na uh, popular music yes. na kayang-kaya where, whereas i think i don't know it's my in my humble opinion uh -huh. yung pop artist naman hindi makakaya ang bumaliktad from singing popular mm -hmm. na magta-try magkumanta ng classical parang uh -oh. mas, mas uh -oh. kasi for me isang ang isang mod ang isang classical ballerina kayang-kayang mag-modern ballet o kaya mag contemporary uh -oh. jazz uh -oh. o kahit mag-folk dance yes. no pero yung kabaliktaran noon yung isang folk dancer mm -hmm. or classical baller uh, or uh, modern jazz, uh, modern or jazz dancer yes. hindi siya makakapagswan mm -hmm. like you know Totoo. hindi ka hindi ka Totoo. hindi ka makakasayaw uh, ng something yes. classical uh, no uh, oh, oh. Ang pagka, is it the same for singers uh, yes it's the same mm -hmm. in most cases ang ang diferensya sa pagsasayaw sa pag-aawit ang isang mga awit pwedeng ma-develop ng ng medyo may edad na mm -hmm. someone can start learning how to sing at 40 mm -hmm. and if they choose to sing wow, class. so may pag-asa pa. <laughs> o yung maganda ang boses <laughs> ng ating uh, <laughs> mismapuha. <laughs> It's like a frustrated singer. Yeah. May pag-asa. Okay. And, and, uh, and yet, kung, mag, kung mapili niyang kumanta ng classical, mm -hmm. kaya naman i-develop yun. Siyempre, sa mga mananayaw, bata pa lang kayo, di ba? Mga 2-3 yes. uh -oh. years old pa nga, uh -oh. ka, kadalasan. Pero totoo, yung mga pop artists out there, Aside from a few that I know, uh -huh. like Lady Gaga who surprised us with Sound of Music at one uh -huh. time at the Oscars, yes, yes, yes. Okay. karamihan sa kanila, they were trained for pop. And going, uh, switching to opera or classical singing, medyo mahirap para sa kanila. Versus yung mga classical singers na next nag crossover. Mm -hmm. Kadalasan din ng ating mga classical singers, lalo sa bansa natin, pinanganak na hindi nila alam, classical singers pala sila. Mm -hmm. So nagpa-pop. Mm -hmm. all their lives, mm -hmm. no? And then mm -hmm. they wanted to take up music as a vocation. Mm -hmm. They go to the conservatory and mm -hmm. then they realize, ay, classical pala ang tinuturo dito. Mm -hmm. And they realize they have classical voices, mm -hmm. no? Mm -hmm. So yung mga rigorous training ng, ng conservatories will take you to that level that mm -hmm. you can sing opera. Mm -hmm. you know, okay. Uh, okay. Bago maging talaga, uh, <laughs> this discussion is getting very interesting for me. Pero magbalik tanaw muna tayo kung paano nagsimula ang Classical Music Foundation Tell us what inspired its creation. Mm. What is what what is the organization's goals? Yes. Yeah. Ang Classical Music Foundation ay 
founded by Dr. George T. Yang, mm -hmm. as we all know, is the owner of McDonald's Philippines. Yes, take, pero take note, ang classical music foundation is spelled with a K. With a K. That is why it's called KMF. K Kaya ang yes. classical music foundation is spelled with a K. Kasi gusto rin ng foundation na maging Pilipino ang spelling. Kaya lang, yung ibang mga salita na hirapan kaming hanapan ng, ng paano pag put together. No? So I think we are able to achieve yung pangalan. May, may, may Tagalog din and mm -hmm. then uh, English. Okay. Pero si Dr. George Yang, katulad na banggit ko, siya napili niyang kumanta at his ano, older age. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. So nung nalaman niya, discover niya that he can sing and he can sing classically. Well, yeah. uh -oh. And he became one of the parang sought after tenors ng bansa natin nung nakaraang dekada. Mm -hmm. Naisip niya, gusto niya mag-give back mm -hmm. no, sa arts. And his best idea was to fund the foundation to support the education of mm -hmm. young classical singers. Mm -hmm. Uh, hindi siguro nalalaman ng alam na marami ang pag-major ng music ay napakamahal na kurso. Mm -hmm. I think comparable siya halos siguro mag-medicine o mag -law. kasi merong mga private lessons yan mm -hmm. in your curriculum. Mm -hmm. Napakamahal. And karamihan ng ating talented singers, talented sila. Actually, ang talent hindi problema. Mm -hmm. Minsan na nagiging problema yung kakayahan magbayad mm -hmm. ng tuition nila. Mm -hmm. So dito pumapasok ang Classical Music Foundation. Mm -hmm. Nung phenorm yan, naging panglahatan sa musika. Mm -hmm. Merong mga composers, mm -hmm. violinists. Later on, naging focus siya sa classical singing. Mm -hmm. Mas na-focus yung scholarship. And then, ang scholarship is available to all music students of the conservatories based in Metro Manila. Okay. Sana soon, nationwide. Pero sa ngayon, sa Metro Manila muna kami nakafocus. Mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. And then, si Dr. Yang is working very hard every year to raise funds for the foundation to continue mm -hmm. supporting them financially. Okay. Um, so, so, ilan ang ating music conservatory sa Metro Manila? Sa Metro Manila, sa pagkakaalam ko, we have UP, uh -huh. UST, Santa Isabel, St. Scholastica, St. Paul's University, C EU and PWU. Sa pagkakaalam ko, pito mm -hmm. ang ating parang main conservatories that offer a Bachelor of Music program yes. in voice major. Okay. And then alam ko may ibang skwelahan like uh, Philippine Normal University, meron silang tinatawag ng music uh, emphasis mm -hmm. degree. Pero uh, wala pa kami, wala pa nag-audition sa amin from those schools na may music emphasis. Kadalasan ay may mga college and conservatories of music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the, your classical, your KMF scholars are all students for a Bachelor of Music degree as a voice major? As a voice major. Pwede rin music education with voice emphasis. I Basta see. Bachelor of Music. Bachelor mm -hmm. of Music. And that's a four-year course? Well, right now, the, most of the curriculums of the universities have turned into a five-year course. A five-year course na? Yes. Kaya, kaya naman pala mahal. Kaya mahal at hindi <laughs> lang yun dahil meron, they need to complete a uh, certain number of levels to be able to graduate. Mm -hmm. Minsan, umaabot ng seven to eight years sa ating mga, uh -huh. <laughs> mga uh -huh. sudyante, no? Pero, kasi kailangan mag-develop ang bosses, eh. Mm -hmm. To sing a particular aria, a particular genre, mm -hmm. or a particular work of a composer, you need to get to that vocal maturity, mm -hmm. no? And years will dictate when that will happen, mm -hmm. no? You work mm -hmm. hard and time will tell, okay, you're ready to sing this. And then mm. you have to complete eight levels. Mm. So talaga napakamahal na kurso sa isang vocation na puro dreams na mm. how will they make it in the future and all that. Mm -hmm. Every day you're you're competing in an industry, kahit sudyante ka pa lamang. Oo, oh, 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 kasi oh, kailangan, oh, oh. karamihan ng ating mga classical singers, napansin na nasa kalehyo pa lang. Oh, oh, Kaya oh. importante na they will be able to study with the confidence and peace of mind na hindi na kailangan problemahin yung tuition nila. Yes, diba? yes. Diba? Kasi karamihan na katulad sa Amerika, napakamahal ng tuition and the scholarships are not that ano naman, available mm -hmm. for everyone. Mm -hmm. They have to work during the day then go to school at night yes. and then they have to be on top of their game. Oh, oh. And so, Bakit hindi ba gano'n naman ang talaga ang buhay ng lahat artista. ng ar artists? <laughs> artist. So, oh, oh. sa ngayon, parang siguro by eliminating at least one problem mm -hmm. or one thing that they have to, you know, work work for mm -hmm. will help them become better artists, mm -hmm. no? Mm -hmm. Ang ating bansa ay blessed with many, yeah. many good voices. So, ilan ang scholars na sinusuportahan ngayon ng KMF? Sa kasulukuyan, we have about 16 currently enrolled. Okay. Students, but in totality, we have we have had sixty. Sixty. Yes. But currently enrolled sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Yes. We're gonna talk more with them. Yes. Sa ating pagbabalik. Okay. okay. Sa ating pagbabalik, ipapakilala namin 
sa inyo ang ilan sa mga scholars ng Classical Music Foundation. Dito pa rin sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos ng ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto. Update sa mga magagandang panoorin sa mga tanghalan at teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. Narito ang ating Arts Calendar. Sa musika, magtatanghal ng concert si Pilita Corales, ang tinaguri ang Asia's Queen of Songs sa November 17, alas 8 ng gabi sa The Theater at Solaire. Kasama ni Pilita Corales sa kanyang concert na pinamagatang An Evening with Pilita, ang kanyang mga anak na sina Jackie Lou Blanco at Ramon Christopher Gutierrez. Apong si Janine Gutierrez, mga kaibigan sa industriya na sina Nikki Ross at Angie De La Cruz na mas kilala bilang ang Wing Duo, ang AMP Band, at ang string section ng ABS-CBN Philharmonic Orchestra. Para sa ticket, tumawag sa Ticket World 891-9999. Ang Solaire Resort and Casino ay matatagpuan sa One Solaire Boulevard, Entertainment City, Pasay. Sa teatro, magbabalik ang tablado ang religious musical na nasaan si Jesus. Simula November 19, alas 7 ng gabi, sa isang special invitational performance sa tanghalang Aurelio Tolentino ng Cultural Center of the Philippines. Ginawa nito ng musika ni Lourdes Bing Pimentel at nasa panulat at direksyon ni Nestor U. Torre. Ang makakalap na pondo ay mapupunta sa Communist Chest Foundation Incorporated Batang Transformers Project ng Pimentel Institute for Leadership and Governance, Pasalord Prayer Movement at mga proyekto ng Women's Rights Movement of the Philippines. Ang mga grupo, paaralan o parokya na nais mag-sponsor ng pagtatanghal ng nasaan si Jesus ay hinihikayat na tumawag kay Bing Pimentel sa numerong 09 977-817-7934 Samantala, iniahandog ng Cultural Center of the Philippines at ng Animation Council of the Philippines Incorporated ang 11th Animahinasyon Festival sa November 17 at 18 sa tanghalang Aurelio Tolentino at tanghalang Manuel Conde ng CCP. Ang Animahinasyon ay taunang Filipino Animation Festival na nagtatampok sa mga obra ng baguhan at profesional na animator sa bansa sa pamamagitan ng isang patimpalak. Para sa kumpletong detalye, bumisita sa website na animahinasyon.com o tumawag sa CCP Film Broadcast and New Media Division 832-1125 Local 1704 or 1705 Para sa tiket, tumawag sa CCP Box Office 832-3704 Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat Kasama ang balerina ng bayan si Lisa Makuha Art to Art Kasama pa rin natin ang Artistic Director ng Classical Music Foundation Ang tanyag na baritone na si Ginoong Andrew Fernando At dalawa sa mga scholars ng KMF na sina Chrisan Manikantan at Stephanie Aguilar. Stephanie, Chrisan, welcome to the show. Salamat Thank you, Paul. Po. Okay, let's let's start, please, Stephanie, Chrisan, tell us about yourselves. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Nagtuturoan sila. Okay, Stephanie, <laughs> um, so, pumasok po ka sa foundation noong 2010, mm -hmm. but I took music po as my second degree. Mm -hmm. My first degree was hotel management. Mm -hmm. And gusto ko po kasi talaga ng music. Mm -hmm. So, pero hindi ko po masasabay yung work with uh, with another degree kasi parang balik full-time student. Mm -hmm. So, naghanap po ako ng scholarship. Mm -hmm. Then, nasabi po sa akin ng teacher ko at that time, si Mr. Shell, na I can audition dun po sa Classical Music Foundation. Mm -hmm. So, I underwent through the audition. Tapos, ayun po, uh, thank God kasi I got in. Mm -hmm. And since then, so, I've been a scholar for eight years ng foundation. Wow! So, eight years ka ng scholar yes. ng KMF. Mm -hmm. Wow! Fantastic! Okay, Chris, and ikaw naman, balita ko, na, na, nabigyan ka pa, rin, ka pa ng scholarship sa Paris. Opo. Oh, wow! Uh, but I knew of KMF na, na naging scholar po ako dahil may isang advertisement sa school namin sa Santa Isabel College, mm -hmm. dito lang sa TAF. Mm -hmm. So, nung una, hindi ko alam yung foundation kasi parang yung sa school namin, hindi kami masyadong... Uh, parang hindi kami masyadong uh, exposed mm -hmm. sa mga ganong 
activity. So, so I tried, I auditioned, mm -hmm. and luckily I got in. Mm -hmm. Tapos po, uh, I was very happy kasi syempre, ang laking tulong po sa pamilya namin. Mm -hmm. uh, tapos, uh, hindi lang po yun ang naitulong sa akin. Hindi lang po pinansyal. Mm -hmm. uh, katulad ng mga rehearsals namin. So, ang dami kong natututunan. Mm -hmm. na, mm -hmm. na as an artist, as a singer, and as a teacher, ang dami mm -hmm. kong natututunan and ang dami mga friendships na nabubuo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, currently, I'm a voice teacher po and also a, a, a singer. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yun po. And uh, sabi mo nga, sa isang master class mo as a scholar ng KMF, na napakinggan ka ng isang, pa, ng French, isang French voice teacher uh, at nabigyan ka ng scholarship sa... Opo. Um, Pero, uh, sorry, Ay, hindi po siya taga... Uh -huh. <laughs> taga, hindi po siya na ano ng KMF. Parang project po siya ng UP. I see. Opo. Okay. Uh -huh. So, nag, uh, parang, actually, ano yung, <laughs> walo yung mga, yung slots para po dun sa master class. Mm -hmm. Tapos yung isa nagkasakit. Mm -hmm. Tapos so, tinext ako kung pwede akong mag-fill in mm -hmm. sa, mm -hmm. sa nawala. Sabi ko, sige po, mm -hmm. prepare lang ng French aria. Then, I, I took the master class. Tapos, uh, after ng master class, in-approach ako ng French teacher. Tapos, she invited me. She asked me if I wanted to study in mm -hmm. Paris mm -hmm. sa conservatory nila, which is in Conservatoire de, uh, de Paris, Paris mm -hmm. Conservatory. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I said yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hindi po lahat nabibigyan ng ganong pagkakataon. Oh, oh, oh. Tapos, uh, syempre, ang unang-una ko talagang sinabihan, ng, isa sa mga una kong sinabihan is si Sir George dahil ang laki ng utang na loob ko sa kanya. Mm -hmm. Then, tinawagan ako ng secretary niya na parang uh, Dr. George ang wanted to talk to you. Mm -hmm. So, I wasn't really expecting anything. Mm -hmm. Parang, in the letter, I just said na thank you, Sir George, for for being so instrumental, for mm -hmm. being so generous. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. nung pumunta po ako doon, may naka-ano may naka ng check eh. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> may naka-check eh na. So, sabi ko, ano ba to? Sabi uh -huh. ko, sobrang blessing na yeah. hindi lang yung, yung schooling ko ang, yes. ang binayaran niya. Pati itong start-up ko yes. sa Paris. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ang laking tulong. Wow. <laughs> so, a KMF scholar is given free tuition? Free tuition. Um, and private lessons? Um, uh, um, no, because in the conservatory, they have their private teachers, part I of see. their curriculum. No? But we pay for their full tuition fee and plus miscellaneous. Mm -hmm. So, they have nothing else to worry about. Pati school fees. transportation, transportation and living allowance, mm, meals, kasama din ba? When we are in showcases or when we need to, for them to come to a classical music foundation event. Mm -hmm. no? Okay. Pero, but, we, but on a daily basis, we don't support mm -hmm. their... For them financially for stipend mm -hmm. or for mm -hmm. meals and mm -hmm. all that. And then ultimately, ano ba ang ultimate kumbaga, dream na profession uh, or in you know ambition or career of uh, a, vo a voice major? Is it kasi di ba um, konti lang ang um, uh, opportunities na maging mm -hmm. opera singer dito sa ating bansa. Mm -hmm. uh, so what is the ultimate dream of a um, of a classical music, uh, of, of classical singer like yourselves? Siguro po ako personally is yung to really sing dun sa, sing abroad sa mm -hmm. bigger stage, mm -hmm. kung saan, kung saan, kasi ang hirap makapasok ng isang Pilipina mm -hmm. o Pilipino sa yes. isang yes. Oh. Uh, international production na malaki, kunyari oh. sa mga La Scala, mm -hmm. yung mga mm -hmm. talagang big theaters dahil mm -hmm. una una Yung katulad ako, nung when I was in Paris, parang, of course, I wanted to try out sa mm -hmm. Garni. Mm -hmm. Pero I, I know I was so young and mm -hmm. feeling ko ang dami ko pang kailangan matutunan. Mm -hmm. Pero when I tried to go there, parang, of course, kailangan nila yung height. Mm -hmm. Dapat talaga, yeah. <laughs> medyo may pagka-physical talaga. So, of course, of yeah. course. But, of course, ang... Kailangan talaga is you have you really have the voice yes. na, na, that can fill up uh, a big theater. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. And and sabagay sa um, roles, for example, medyo pili talaga for the Asian 
um, yes. singer, no? Although, I mean, I think you have Madame Butterfly, mm -hmm. you have Chocho San. You have Turando. You have yeah. Turando, but but medyo, limited talaga. No? Although ang opera tends to be a colorblind uh, mm -hmm. art form, mm -hmm. uh, ang ano kasi ang competition talaga ng opera is napakahipet. And I'm sure sa ballet ganun din. Mm -hmm. Doon no? mm -hmm. napakaraming talented singer. Sabi ko nga sa kanila sa mga bata, when you go to a conservatory and your ultimate goal is to become an opera singer, right there and then, you're not looking at a very small world. You're looking at the entire world. Mm -hmm. Now, because all of us, ang market ng opera kasi is international. No? Mm -hmm. So you need to be able to have that sound that is hireable mm -hmm. anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. So ma, ma ano talaga ang, ang requirements for opera. Pero ako, I always remind the, the kids no, that it's a calling, eh. mm. and it's if you're destined to do mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. it, it will happen. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> and I'm sure it's happening already, no? For for both of you. So actually, Andrew, balita ko na meron kayong inihandang special na musical number. Yes. Um, for our art to art listeners, so can you tell us kung ano ang kanilang aawitin ngayon? Ang ating dalawang uh, batang mga awit si Stephanie si Kisan. They prepared a duet from the opera Lakme. No, oh. ito ay by Delib. Uh -huh. And this opera, in this particular duet, they are actually by the river, and they were actually t cleaning themselves. Uh -huh. And they were, they were also talking about um, the surroundings around them. This is in French, and I'm sure. Uh, karamihan sa inyo, pag narinig niyo ito, masabi niyo, ay, yung pala opera, kasi ginamit siya sa maraming commercials. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> opera pala yun. Opera pala yun. Parang yung po, poly, uh, poly polyvets and dances, dances di ba ginamit sa Kismet? Kismet, yung, oh, uh, oh, yung, yung, yung Stranger Melody, in Paradise. Stranger in Paradise. <laughs> so, talagang nung, uh, um, actually, yung exposure ko mismo, oh when I first heard Kinyas Igor, uh -oh. uh, the opera, yeah. sabi ko, teka, hindi yan. Kismet yan Kismet. eh. <laughs> Pero baliktad pala. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, but, but I digress. Yeah. Uh, mga kaibigan, let's all welcome Chrisan Manikantan and Stephanie Aguilar of the Classical Music Foundation. Yes. So 
Maraming maraming salamat, Stephanie. Maraming salamat, Chrisan. And uh, actually, uunahan ko na ang pag-announce dito lang sa Art to Art. Malalaman niyo for the first time na um, ang Ballet and Ballads sa February 2018 ay magpre-present ng Arias. And kasama namin sila. So oh. talagang exciting <laughs> ang aming next project. After Snow White. Manood muna kayo ng Snow White, okay? Maraming maraming salamat, syempre, sa pagbisita ninyo sa amin. Kay Mr. Andrew Fernando, maraming salamat. And of course, more power to the, all the good work that you do sa Classical Music Foundation. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan ninyo kami ulit dito sa Art to Art kung saan ang usapang sining at kultura ay para sa lahat. Ito po ang inyong balilina ng bayan, Lisa Makuha, nagpupugay sa Artistang Pilipino. 